Hello everybody. Today we are going to discuss about Moodle interface. So those who plan to use Moodle as their learning management system need to understand the entire interface of Moodle, how it works, when we log in, what exactly we can see. So let us move to actual demonstration of the interface. You can see here that when we log in, we log in from here and then we can see our name. So, uh, this is interface of learning management system of SNDT Women's University. This is version 3.3. Now, version 3.9 is available. And to see the version 9, you can simply go to Genomeo Moodle. Genomeo site provides you free Moodle to create your own course. And if you have 500 registered students, and if not more than 50 students are going to log in concurrently, then you can certainly use Genomeo site. If you want Genomeo to maintain your institutional Moodle, then they have charges for the entire year and in those charges, you can have innumerable students, n number of students. So, if we have not more than 500 registered students, and if we are not planning to give test to anybody more than 550, then we can use this Genomeo account. Otherwise, because the institution has its own learning management system, we are using our university's learning management system. Now go back, let's go back to our university's learning management system and see the features. As I mentioned, if we log in, once we log in, we reach to this page created by our teacher if I am a teacher and if my administrator has given me this particular page, then how do I add resources? So, let us understand that the learning area is the central part. Left hand panel shows me topic numbers because in my settings I have mentioned that I will have topics. What do I mean by topics? These are the topics already edited. And below that, these blank topics will be available for me. These are already added resources inside topics. So the feature is topic wise layout of this Moodle interface. Once I click editing on, let me zoom in and show you. This is turn editing on button. So once I click on this particular button, then I can behave as a teacher, I can function as a teacher. Once I turn editing off, I cannot add anything, I cannot edit anything. Now, we can see a few buttons. This is for moving. So, if I do not want this particular banner here, but below my general instructions or announcement, then I will simply hold it and pull it down. If I realize that announcements may come below the banner, then I will again hold it. So, this particular part is for holding and moving. By mistake, if I have added something in one section, let me scroll down and show then I can easily pull it down. So if this query is of the next day, then I will pull it down, push it down. 
me hold it and i can see the gray part very light wash out part that shows me that here your holded resource going to sit i will again because i had moved it from earlier module i will hold it again and i will push it to its original place so this is for moving and you can see this is the section name section name can be edited from this button icon pencil so we edit topic name by clicking on this particular icon and we can change whatever way we want this topic to be changed but this edit button is for this entire topic block this section this entire section see this line dotted line if i click edit on this i can edit this topic but i can also edit this description edit topic has title of the topic that is that block and description of that block so we have added sub modules in this section under that many activities will be posted so i click on this add an activity or resource to add any activities say discussion forum say a game say assignment folder in that section or we can also add learning resources for students so if, so we can have a file a book a folder we can create a folder all these icons are representative icons and it is very easy to remember what it means these are universal icons label is the text plain text for example general instruction which we have added on this course are added by using label you can add complete page and you can also add url we will see this one by one later on but remember that this particular link is very very important because the link will allow you to add i'm talking about this link this link is to add anything any activity any text quiz query forum so all this are added by clicking on this and opening this particular interface block we can say box toolbox and whatever you want you can click and say add if you delete this topic remember if you delete this topic by editing this topic it does not mean you are deleting this title it means that you are deleting this entire topic so if you have students assignment already uploaded in this and if you click on this edit and delete it your entire block this block along with quiz results records along with assignments forums everything will get deleted so always be careful by using this edit button edit topic hide topic hides your entire block so learners cannot see this till we unhide from here you cannot unhide only one part see you have to edit the entire block inside this block if you do not want to reveal quiz then you can hide it if you do not want to open this forum before certain time then you can hide it but if you and even unhide it from here show okay this also i will make show if you hide from here then this entire box 
whatever you do in this block whatever you do in this block separately gets hidden or separately gets deleted or separately gets highlighted so if you want to tell students that today is august 1 and today we are going to focus on this particular block then you can highlight it if today is not august 1 and if you do not want to highlight this then you can remove highlighting so i have shown you the pencil feature just to edit this title this icon to push topic anywhere then this edit to hide a particular element a resource you can even duplicate if you want for example if you want one quiz here also you can change settings but right now you want to duplicate that then go on edit and say duplicate now you will get two quiz six links see you can simply push this to the next topic and you can edit settings of this quiz you can change name you can say quiz 7 you can say moodle all modules summative quiz you can say august 3 whatever you want you can add here so you have duplicated this quiz it allows you to carry the same features inside this quiz you are only changing name and then you can go in edit setting and whatever you want you can change if this is only for demonstration or trial or practice you can easily go and delete this resource you can hide this resource so that students will not see this resource till you want to show them if there are sub sections you may like to move to right so the sub section is pushed inside further now if you do not want to push it inside you can use this move right and then left okay we will delete it now so this is all about this interface not to worry as a teacher you can simply use this interface by using only this two three icons two three links you can add images and how to add resources of course we will see later on i am just showing you how these instructions are added directly in the course so the feature of add label is used here we have seen add so add label allows you to write type anything on this course page label add and it gives you this interface i will again show you let me go at the end in this particular topic i want to add something i am giving label demo title i have given demo label i am adding label to it so the first active all activities will be scrolled up everybody will not see this h5p and is games in your own model because we have inserted installed these plugins then below that resources start click on label you will see description so it is easy to learn moodle on your own also so you can split up by giving headings you can put a line in between dash in between once you click this add a label you get this interface to type what you want to type this is just to show a demo how to add a lib text or an image on the course page now if you want to make it 
bold you can do it if you want to change color just click on this brush whichever color you want to add add this color make it dark or saturate color or make it black or white depending on the color texture and submit it if you want the same color then remember this so that you can use it again okay if you click on i its italics now if you want to add some sub points to it then you can select this and you can number or you can bullet you can change color and further you can click on advanced buttons and once you click on advanced buttons see you are getting all different facilities you can even insert a video inside this if you want to record yourself you can add an image or simply if you have a video and if you want to run this video on the course page you can add video here if you want to bifurcate this topic and the next topic then push this here remove these bullets and whatever way you want to highlight add this you can even press enter so that one line space is left let us see this is the label we have added so moodle is not that difficult friends just try it and see it will help you in long run use moodle for your students and enjoy moodle learning management system get ready